Shapes are like the building blocks of everything around us. Imagine you have different toys. Some are round like a ball, some are square like a box, and others might have different shapes like triangles or rectangles. These are all different types of shapes, even things you see every day, like a pizza, a big circle, or a book, a rectangle, are made up of shapes. So, when we talk about shapes, we're talking about the different forms or outlines that things have. Look at this ball. A ball is like a special kind of circle. See how it's all round and doesn't have any corners? That's what makes it a circle. There are other things we see in our environment that are also circles, like a plate or a clock. Trace a circular path with your finger or roll a ball on the floor. Look at this egg. Eggs are a special shape called an oval. An oval is like a circle, but a bit stretched out. See how the egg is not a perfect circle, but it's still smooth and doesn't have any corners? That's what makes it an oval. There are other things we see in our environment that are oval, like an oval-shaped rug, a picture frame, or even a football, which is a bit oval in shape. Ovals can come in different sizes and are not always exactly the same. If I touch an egg, ah, it feels smooth. Look at this slice of pizza. A slice of pizza is a special shape called a triangle. A triangle has three sides and three corners. See how the pizza slice has one side, two sides, and three sides? Count with me. One, two, three. That's what makes it a triangle. There are other things we see in our environment that have triangular shapes, like a slice of watermelon, a piece of cake, or a roof of a house. Wow, I can create a triangular shape. Look at this book. Some books are special shapes called squares. A square is like a magic shape that has four sides that are all the same length. See how this book has one side, two sides, three sides, and four sides, and they are all the same length? That's what makes it a square. There are square-shaped objects around you like a picture frame, a window, or a block. Let's try it. We can create a square shape. Look at this ice cream sandwich. It's a special shape called a rectangle. A rectangle is like a magic shape that has four sides, and the opposite sides are the same length. See how the top and bottom sides of the ice cream sandwich are the same length, and the sides on the left and right are also the same. That's what makes it a rectangle. There are other rectangle-shaped objects around you, like a piece of toast, a TV screen, or a door. Now, let's make a rectangular shape. Look at this kite. A kite can have a special shape called a rhombus. A rhombus is like a diamond shape. See how the kite has two longer sides and two shorter sides? That's what makes it a rhombus. There are other rhombus-shaped objects around you, like a playing card, a window pane, or even a slice of bread, if it's cut diagonally. Let's create a rhombus shape. Look at these earrings. Some earrings can have a special shape called a pentagon. A pentagon is like a house shape with five sides. Count with me. One, two, three, four, five. See how these earrings have five sides? That's what makes them a bit like a pentagon. We can see other pentagon shapes when we go to a baseball game, or a road sign, or even a slice of pizza, if it's cut in a certain way. Let's cut out a pentagon shape. Look at this pan. Some pans have a special shape called a hexagon. A hexagon is like a honeycomb shape with six sides. Let's count them together. One, two, three, four, five, six. See how the pan has six sides? That's what makes it a bit like a hexagon a beehive, a nut or bolt, or even a soccer ball, which is made up of hexagonal shapes. Let's create a hexagon shape. Look at this pillbox. Some pillboxes can have a special shape called a heptagon. A heptagon is like a shape with seven sides. Let's count them together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. See how the pillbox has seven sides? That's what makes it a bit like a heptagon. We can see heptagon shapes when we drive. For instance, a stop sign, which typically has seven sides. Let's create a heptagon shape. Look at this stop sign. A stop sign has a special shape called an octagon. An octagon is like a stop sign because it has eight sides. Let's count them together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. See how the stop sign has eight sides? That's what makes it an octagon. Some picture frames have octagon shapes, a tile, or even a chocolate bar if it's divided into eight pieces. Let's create an octagon shape. Look at this bracelet. It's like a special shape called a nonagon. 
A nonagon is a shape that has nine sides. Let's count them together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Even though most bracelets are round, it's fun to think about different shapes, right? Sides, like a baseball, which has stitches creates a pattern similar to a nonagon. Let's take a look at another nonagon. Look at this umbrella. Even though most umbrellas are round, we can talk about a special shape called a decagon. A decagon is like a shape with 10 sides. Let's imagine a shape with 10 sides, like a star with 10 points. Although our umbrella isn't exactly a decagon, we can still have fun imagining different shapes with different numbers of sides. Other shapes with more sides, like a clock face, which has 12 sides, or a sunflower, which might have many petals. Let's cut out shapes with different numbers of sides. Most coins, like this one, are round, but we can imagine a special shape called a hen decagon. A hen decagon is like a shape with 11 sides. It's a bit like a circle, but with more sides. Even though our coin isn't exactly a hen decagon, it's fun to think about different shapes, right? There are other shapes with a similar number of sides, like stars, which often have five or more points. Some shapes can have more sides than others. Most swimming pools are rectangular or round, but we can imagine a special shape called a dodecagon. A dodecagon is like a shape with 12 sides. It's like a circle, but with even more sides. Even though our swimming pool isn't exactly a dodecagon, it's fun to think about different shapes, right? A clock face can have a similar number of sides, which has 12 numbers around it, or a calendar with 12 months. We can cut out shapes with different numbers of sides, including a pretend dodecagon. Most chairs are squares or rectangles, but we can imagine a special design called a quatrefoil. A quatrefoil is like a shape with four rounded parts that look like petals around a middle point. Even though our chair might not have this shape, it's fun to think about different designs and patterns, right? Perhaps we see quatrefoil shapes in patterns on fabrics, decorations, or even some types of cookies. T, we can cut out shapes with different designs. Look at this starfish. A starfish is like a special shape called a star. A star has five arms that go out from a center point. See how the starfish has one, two, three, four, five arms? That's what makes it a star. We see stickers with star shapes, drawings of stars, or even star patterns on some clothes. Let's create a star shape. Look at this candy. It's like a special shape called a heart. A heart is a shape that looks like the symbol we use to show love. See how the candy is like two round parts at the top and a point at the bottom? That's what makes it a heart. We see heart-shaped stickers, drawings of hearts, or even heart patterns on some clothes. Let's draw a heart. Look at this sign. It's called an exit sign, and it has a special shape called an arrow. An arrow is like a pointer that shows us which way to go. See how the arrow on the sign is pointing to the way out? That's what makes it an arrow. We see arrows on traffic signs, stickers, and even on a TV remote control. Let's create an arrow.